So let's take a look at your MT2 LT7 affirmation. Now this first question, I kind of, there isn't a lot of work to show. In fact, there isn't any work to show. So I kind of accept that you will not have work for this problem. Uh, let's take a look at what's right, because you did most of it right, and what's incorrect. Starting with letter A, you said alternate exterior angles are angle 8 and angle 1. Perfect. That one is correct. Put a C here for correct. Let's take a look at corresponding angles. That's where you made the mistake. Corresponding angles are in the same side of the transversal. So what happens if you choose angle 4, and there's, more, there's four pairs of corresponding angles, you got to go to the other line, and notice how angle 4 is below the transversal and to the right of the line. So we go to the other line, we go below and to the right. So if you choose angle 4, that would be angle 4 and angle 2. An alternate answer would be if you chose angle 6, which is what you did. Well, angle 6 is to the right and above the parallel line. So you could have also said angle 6 is congruent to, or not congruent, corresponds to angle 8. Both of those are correct. You didn't have to write both of them, but I just want to show you that is. Alternate interior angles, 7 and 2, you did those perfectly correct. So the only one that was incorrect was choice B. Let's take a look at another problem here. Now here's one where I really needed to see your work. X is correct. No, I take that back. Yes, X is correct. X is 99 degrees. That part is correct. How did you get 18 for an answer for Z? That's what I don't get. If we take a look at Z, or the angle that includes Z, 6Z minus 87, that's vertical with x. So what I wanted to see, you submit for an answer, submit your work, take a picture of your work, is I want to see 6z minus 87 equals 99. Then we'll solve for z. So we're going to add 87 to both sides. Bring down the 6z. The 87s, they make 0, so you don't have to write anything there. Equals, well, 99 plus 87 would be 186. Use your calculator if you didn't know that. Then to solve for z, we divide both sides by 6. Well, 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. So Z should have been 31. This is the, this is the type of work I want to see when you redo it. Let's take a look at another one. One that has two parallel lines. It's kind of the same way. Now this one, I understand why you didn't show your work. Because you misinterpreted the question. So I'm really not upset about no work on here. Because let's talk about Z is correct. Z is 120. And you're right, the angle is 60 degrees. But y is not 60 degrees. So 5y minus 60 equals 60. Then we do the algebra. Let's add 60 to both sides. 5y equals 120. We divide both sides by 5. And so y is 120 divided by 5. Let me see. Well, 5 goes into 12 twice, and you got 2 left over. 20 divided by 5 is 4, so y is 24. Darn jet. And there's your answer. So at this point, I want you to go back and redo MT2 LT7. You have to do this during the school day. So it will be open for you Wednesday. Do it during the school day. And then submit your work. Take a picture of your work and upload it to Schoology.